Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the most anticipated car in Malaysia, X50. But before I talk about the car, I'd like to take this moment to thank you for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate that a lot. Thank you for giving me the chance to share with you what I know and uh, to give you advice on buying cars and to tell you good reliable car stories as well. I really appreciate your comments, your interactions with me and uh, even your criticism as well because I want to make it better and better each time. So I appreciate that a lot. Thank you very much. Um, my channel, as you know, focuses on reliability. So talking about new car is not so common because I can't tell the reliability of a car unless it's been on the road for some time. X50 has not even hit the road yet. So it's difficult for me to tell about the reliability. But anyway, today I want to talk about the car and I'm going to predict about its reliability as well, according to my knowledge of the car. Um, I'm going to talk about all the positive things about the car and one big negative thing at the end of this video. So if you're considering buying this car, do stay tuned until the end of the video. First of all, the exterior design of the car is the most beautiful car, hands down. Comparing to all other compact SUV within the price range, even though we don't know the price yet, but I'm sure that the price is going to be very competitive. This car is the most beautiful car I've ever seen um, within the range, um, comparing to all the competitors. The exterior design is so gorgeous, so impressive, so catchy. I think I, I just don't have any comment. I'm just, I'm just speechless to see how beautiful and how catchy it is. A lot of times when I look at cars, I always have a little comment here and there about the changes. But this car, I think it's one of the most beautiful cars. That's it, period. Now, the interior is even more impressive. The soft touch materials, the look, the design and everything makes the car look so premium, so expensive. It looks like it's a very very expensive car right and it comes with this seven speed dual clutch transmission so specifications so far are great great it's a must buy car if you're looking for a compact uh, SUV and this could be the best car to own but there's one deal breaker here the problem that I see which is the trend sadly um, the car comes with a three-cylinder engine, 1.5, turbocharger is there, which I'm not a fan of a turbocharged engine because the engine is so tiny. Three-cylinder engine is a little bit too small for the car that size. To put out more horsepower, it has to be equipped with turbocharger. But the problem with three-cylinder engine is that when you put a turbocharger into it, you are actually stressing so hard on the engine in order to squeeze more horsepower. Um, that will eventually wear out the engine sooner or later. If you drive the car like a maniac, I'm sure you'll blow up the engine within one or two years or three years, the most. But if you drive very conservatively, maybe it'll last longer. So that is one of the biggest concern I have about the car. Another thing here is that three-cylinder engine doesn't sound very smooth. A lot of time, it creates a lot of vibration and it's quite loud. Idling is very rough, which I'm not so much a fan of that kind of engine. So to me, everything is just so perfect about this car, apart from that tiny three-cylinder engine. I, I, how I wish that the car would come with a four-cylinder engine without any turbocharger, but that didn't happen. So that's my thought on the car. If you are buying this car, do keep in mind that this car comes with three-cylinder engine, idling could be quite rough, and um, to put out more horsepower, it has this turbocharger to stress the engine to produce more horsepower. And if you keep driving very fast, you accelerate very often and you will eventually blow up the engine. 
somehow. So that is my main concern about the car. So thank you for watching. Do subscribe if you haven't done that yet.